Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game one of a best of three. It is a Zerg versus Protoss and it's going to be played out on Star Station. Down in the bottom left position spawning as the Red Zerg we have got from Team Liquid, T-L-O. And his opponent up in the top right, the blue Protoss from Neurosoft, Wellmu. So, what are these two going to be throwing out at each other? Well, TLO, he tends to go for some stuff that can be a little bit crazy. I may or may not have seen this man do both Swarm Host drops, Ultralisk drops, and other crazy, crazy stuff. Wellmu, great player though. Um, I think a lot of people would argue TLO is probably a bit more well-known, but Wellmu is certainly an up-and-comer. Um, actually, not even up-and-coming, just a, a good player, full stop. So, doing quite well in things like WCS Challenger League, etc. But yeah, TLO... Um, He's been having a damn good run recently, so interested to see how he's going to get going on. But the big thing, of course, is this game. What are they going to be doing? I believe it is just a ladder game, and they're just going to have a little bit of fun. So we'll wait to see what's going to happen. Obviously, Forge Fast Expand from Wellmu is likely to be coming down. Could be Nexus first, however, but this is just known due to the fact that Star Station has quite a narrow ramp here, just outside the natural. So Wellmu, perfectly comfortable doing that. And the response from TLO just has to be, I need to take my third base a bit quicker. 3 minutes 50, 4 minutes-ish, give or take. If it's a Nexus first, the 3 minute 50 time is a little bit better. But yes, as it stands, TLO, sending his overlord out, just going to make sure that he's not getting cannon rushed or any of those horrible shenanigans, which can actually ruin your day. Everyone hates cannon rush, but yeah. Here's the hatchery, all coming down nicely. Wellmu is going to be going for that Nexus first, meaning that TLO needs to take sort of a before four minute third base, just to stay in head economically. Uh, you can obviously play it very aggressive or for two base if you see your opponent do something greedy like this, but on Star Station the reason I'm not too keen on that is just because this area is quite tight. You can't get a nice attack arc. Generally, it's just a bit difficult to try and push through there. So I think we will be seeing TLO just go for the more economical standpoint. Or we may actually just go for something crazy. Nidus, Neb Nidus Worms can pop out from down here. And if Wellmu's not looking, that could ruin his day. That's a way to avoid, obviously, having to deal with the wall off at the natural base. But for the moment, we've just got Wellmu busy getting down his forge, getting down his nexus, all fairly normal. Up here for TLO, he went... Actually, did he go hatch first? I think he may have done... Yes, he definitely did. Hatch first build out a TLO here, so very risky. And it also explains why he had that overlord kept there, just to make sure that there wasn't any pylons getting thrown down or any risk of there being some kind of cannon rush. Because if you go hatch first, you're not going to have Zerglings out to help deal with that. So that was all very smart play there by TLO. We do see that we've got the cannon now coming down here from Wellmu. He's looking all pretty swish. He's got his first gas coming up. Second one should be getting taken. There we go. So all of this, as it stands, is looking very, very normal. And normal isn't a bad thing, it just means that we are going to be getting into a nice steady mid game, and that's always a cool thing to see. So, yeah, drones coming out here now for TLO, he's just trying to make sure that everything's going to plan, nothing too crazy is occurring. He's taking a gas quite early, so this is where things get very odd for TLO, because he doesn't know that it's not a gateway expand yet, so he's going for that option of build. The, the response to a gateway expand is getting that gas, so that means his third is quite a lot later than it should have been. It's now at least 30 seconds over the time you ideally wanted against the Nexus expand, but this Overlord still hasn't come in and seen that it's there, so... Once he sees that it was the Nexus first, or at least knows it's a Forge Fast expansion, that's probably going to force TLO to get quite aggressive very quickly, because if he doesn't, this gas has been wasted and he's behind economically due to the third base having not been taken down yet. And this is now over a full minute later than generally you wanted. TLO has now got the scouting information that he needs. He sees that down, knows that the expansion is there, and this is now, as I said, going to prompt him to either be very aggressive or very passive. Which one? We'll have to wait and see, but... It looks like at the moment he's just going to be droning up, getting down some creep tumors, starting his lair up super quick. So, basically passive is not on the cards. This could be anything from just a very quick, say, swarm host play. This could be Ling Hydra coming down. It could just be, well, it could be lots of things, basically. But, yeah, got to keep an eye out. It could even be a Nidus network. But, considering the Overlord is placed here, and there's obviously vision all around this natural base here for Wilmy. I doubt he's going to be nidus there, but this Overlord isn't coming up, so I don't think it's going to be Nidus, because otherwise he'd want vision at this corner of the base. So, at the moment, we do see now just the drone coming out, so a third base is going to be probably on the cards any second here for the little one, and should just place it down 
fairly soon. It may not be, though. It could be some more funky stuff, because it's now running straight past that. It's also not the third that would usually get taken. So, TLO, is he going to be going for a hidden base or something? Meanwhile, Wellmu does have the Stargate coming down. The lair nearly finished up now for Team Liquid's TLO. Oh, I know what he's going to do. He's going to proxy something. He's going to proxy tech. Here's the Overlord coming in. The lair is now finished, so he can start generating creep. What's it going to be? It should be a Spire, most likely. Boom! Proxy Spire coming down! And that means the scouting information is going to get hidden. An infestation pit as well as on its way. So this could be throwing Wellmu off the scent of what's going to be occurring. But Wellmu just adding on some additional gateways to that Stargate. Phoenix already coming out. So if it is going to be Mutalesk, you've got to be a little bit careful because... If there's already Phoenix down, it's going to be tough trying to really pump out those Mutalisks and make them effective at harassment. But four gas have been taken here. TLO with that infestation pit nearly completed. What is he? What has he got planned, ladies and gentlemen? Because he's getting this proxy star, uh, proxy spire down. The Stargate's already out though. Going to get scouted. No, there are now these Phoenix. There is the spire going to be allowed to finish because obviously you can deal with those Phoenix with a couple of corruptors very quickly, very easily. But the downside is Mutalisks, not really so much on the cards. Something that TLO, without doubt, is going to be aware of and is probably going to be quite cautious of. Now, up behind the mineral line in the main of Wellmu, who's getting down his robotics bay, so getting ready to take up to Colossi. TLO, meanwhile, just taking down a couple of spore coolers and only now, starting about 30 seconds ago, at the 8 minute mark, his third base. That's really late and something that clearly isn't ideal, unless, of course, this spire which he's just got out is able to do some good damage. But with the Phoenix still racking up in number, we've already got three out of the fourth on its way. It's going to be a bit more tough for TLO to deal some considerable damage with that build. But eight Mutalisks are still nonetheless coming out. Notice when we rallied to the back of the natural. TLO does not want to reveal this until the last possible moment. A group of Zealots and a Sentry being forced to retreat with, even though there's only a handful of Zerglings here, Clearly, Wellmu doesn't want to have to try and use that single... Oh, sorry, there's no force fields left. So, obviously, the sentry could get taken out or just run straight past and come up into the natural base. So, got to be cautious there. The Phoenix still sitting around. A Corruptor being added into the mix. This is going to really help with those Phoenix, and it's pretty much essential that TLO has that out there to deal with them. But, oh, no, the Phoenix, they're heading on a direct beeline to where these Mutalisks are going, but they've stopped. This is fantastic now for TLO. Of course, TLO is going to come sneaking in here, try and do as much probe damage as he can. What are the Phoenix doing? Ideally, for TLO, these Phoenix want to be over here trying to harass him, as opposed to being back trying to defend against those Mutalisks. So in comes TLO. He's coming up the side of the map. He's got a handful of Zerglings coming over just to deal with this pylon if they see it. But now the Queen getting lifted, going to get taken out. But in come the Mutalisks. Instant pull of all of the probes here from Wellmu, who really has no anti-air other than one sentry. Those four stalkers are now warping in, but probes already getting taken down. The Phoenix rapidly trying to get back, coming back to try and defend, but the Mutalisks, they're getting out of there. And of course, Wellmu is only just now moving these Phoenix to come and try and intercept. Oh, but TLO, if he's paying attention, can start picking those off. But likewise, Wellmu has to be very cautious, because if these... If those Phoenix get in range of the Mutalisks, obviously the Mutalisks will win. It's all about kiting them. This single pylon gets taken down. No warpins are going to be occurring here for Wellmu. A second Spire is also on its way down now. So that's going to allow the double air upgrades. And really, TLO just committing heavily to this flying Zerg force. Is it going to be working, though? We've got to wait and see, really, what comes down from Wellmu, who's got the single Colossus at the moment, but he's adding on a second Stargate. And he's doing this because he wants to start up double Phoenix production, knowing that the Mutalisks are out. And this is where, actually, TLO can go for a nice little switch. If he gets some more Corruptors in the mix, then he's going to very quickly be able to deal with those Phoenix and make sure they can't kite the Mutalisks to death. And if TLO does that, then, yeah he can still be very effective with this Mutalist composition. Not to mention the fact that if the ground army is lacking in anti-air, it becomes very difficult to deal with Mutalists once the Corruptors deal with the Phoenix. So, here we go now. In come the Mutalists. They've got to be very cautious, though. They don't want to get taken out by Stalkers and Phoenix Fire. And, of course, the Corruptors now, just taking a little way back. The Stalkers, though, going to be forcing them to retreat. Doesn't want to engage at the moment. Well, move playing this safe. What he wants is to keep this third up. He wants to make sure it's secure. Couple more, a couple of voidways actually getting pumped into the mix. Good number of Phoenix already. We've got, well, seven there, straight down, and they're just going to be ready to engage these muters, but more Mutalisks are on the way. Flea Beacon coming down, ready to start Anion Pulse Crystals for Wellmu here, and once he gets that, that's where he gets a much happier time trying to kite those Mutalisks as best as possible, but the Corruptor's obviously going to try and stop that happening as quick as they can. One, two air upgrades are getting researched here, as well as the fourth base soon to be kicking into action for the Team Liquid player, but Wellmu 
He's in a fairly comfortable spot himself. He's up on three bases, and you know what they say, a three-base Protoss player really can do whatever on earth they want. The Phoenix, though, are getting pushed back. There's not that many Stalkers at the moment. There's eight Stalkers up against 17 Mutalists. Four more Mutas on the way. That's going to go up above the 20 mark, and that's where they start getting very terrifying. A cannon is down in the natural, but, ooh, quite a few probes getting taken out here. The Corruptors do need to be paying attention just to try and phase back those Phoenix, making sure they can't actually engage the Mutalists. Acting as a nice little buffer, as we see, but the Stalkers coming in, they can focus down the corruptors very quickly so something that TLO needs to just make sure that he is on top of and the micro is good on both sides that's the key thing and Iron Pulse Crystals is now starting up here for Wilmu but TLO he's got to just deal with these four zealots that are heading down towards his fourth um, or fifth base whichever one you want to call it and that's going to mean drones are going to start getting taken down Mutalisks, they're on their way back, and the big thing about these Mutas is they're going to be able to clean up these Zealots, but it's how much damage the Zealots can do first. TLO managing to have killed 10 probes this game, compared to the 3 drones that have been taken out by Wormy. The working count as a whole, though, is 82-66 to 66 in TLO's favour, so that's obviously quite a substantial lead that TLO is going to be really quite pleased with. But TLO, he's starting to move forward now. He's got a good number of Mutalisks, a good number of Corruptors. Oh, and the Corruptors is even one-shotting their Phoenix down, and this is what Wormy cannot afford. He needs to make sure that army stays up. The 1-2 upgrades getting dangerously close to finishing right now and the Phoenix still trying to kite as best they can and our Impulse Crystals is now done so that means they outrange Mutalisks by 4 which is pretty damn huge. This Forge researching the plus 2 gets sniped off. Big win there for TLO. Going to delay those upgrades even further trying to mean that he can engage a little bit better against these Stalkers and TLO now moving in. He's trying to hug straight up on top of the Phoenix and they fly straight into range of the Mutalisks allowing the Mutalisks to take them out very quickly. A couple of great corruptions coming down on pretty much every Everything. TLO plowing through this. Just those Phoenix going down just gives him such a great opportunity. Nine more muters are going to be adding into the mix. They're flying across slowly. But the concern now is, of course, these mutalisks are with one or two upgrades compared to, of course, the 1 0 upgrades of the ground army at the moment and no upgrades for the air. But double Phoenix production is started once more. And now TLO, he's got a decent lead in terms of supply 50 supply lead. But this is all going to come down to how well these Phoenix can be migrated. If Wilmu does an amazing job, once he sort of gets 6-8 out, he can try and stop these meters from going in. But an even bigger problem for Wilmu at the moment is the fact that TLO has expanded everywhere. He's about to come and take his 6th base. This is his 6th. It's soon to finish. And once he gets that, he's a full 3 bases ahead of Wilmu. Huge lead. But oh, in comes TLO now. Without that forward there completing the wall off the Zerg, just stream through. The, the Cyanetic Court going down means no more Stalkers, no more Sentries, no more ability to warp in units that can attack these Mutalisks. And all the while, the Mutas just plowing through everything. Corruption coming down here from the Corruptors, increasing the damage done to the Stalkers. And TLO knows that if he takes out the Anti-Air, that is as much as game. We do have a single Carrier coming out here for Wellmu, but still the Mutalisks are stealing so much damage. That single Lone Corruptor now remaining is going to try its best best and utmost to stop it but is unable to do so and now TLO plowing through picking off all of these units picking off the cannons picking off the zealots and there's the GG and TLO will take the game so congratulations to him and thank you all for tuning in I hope you did enjoy if you did like the video make sure you leave a cool comment and of course subscribe because I get new games up every day of the week and yeah you don't want to miss any but yeah thank you all very much for tuning in I'm Maddox thanks for watching and bye for now